Mike Gambino trusting his lefty against this tough righty. Second time today Miami has had bases loaded one out in the fifth on that controversial play at second. The Hurricanes were not able to get a run. 13 hits today for Miami, just five runs. Rain starting to come down a little harder. Boston College, the first two days, first two games of this series, tried to put away Michelangeli with fastballs inside. Yesterday, on a 2-2 count, they went upstairs. He was very aggressive in a similar situation. Bases loaded, one out. He chased up upstairs. See if Boston College goes up there again. Two balls in, two strikes. The difference is that the stuff is different. 87, 85 to 87 is not the same as a fastball. 93, 94 upstairs as a hitter. Quote unquote, you don't respect velocity in that pitch. That one missed a little bit, the changeup, and it's three balls and two strikes to Michelangeli with the bases loaded and one out here in the seventh. Michelangeli with a big double last week against Long Beach State, drove it to right center. A big double two in the first game of this series. Fastball inside, stay inside, shoot it to right field. Left center field and deep. Hogarth is back. Grand slam! The second home run of the game by Michelangeli. He's driven in seven, and he punctuated that one with a backflip. Michelangeli putting good at bats today's game yesterday a tough one for him hit into a double play early in the game we got uh, and here oh now both benches are emptying so that bat flip certainly irked the opposing dugout both benches have emptied and players have to be restrained near the first base coach's box. There is an undercurrent of tension between these two coaching staffs. And I don't think you can get around that. And right now you look at Jim Foster, Jim Foster the BC pitching coach. These two sides were civil with each other for the first two games. But it's no secret, I wouldn't go as far to call it as bad blood, but they're not having beers after the game, put it that way. Mike Gambino trying to restrain his pitching coach, so let's see what the carnage is. It's one of those situations. I'm a big believer. I, I'm not. You know, players, they got to take care of this. Coaches should be the other way around. Agreed. You got to push them up. Go to your dugout. Michelangeli saw it, watched it, bat flip, and he did that against NC State in the ACC. But there was a lot of outrage on the internet. There was a lot of outrage from some media. Some folks loved it. Some folks chalked it up to the emotion of the game. Apparently it did not play well with Boston College. And then watch what happens right here. Nick Shortino took exception to the bat. He let her know. And Michelangeli reacted to Shortino. I know baseball has so many unwritten rules and Again, there's have been so many rules put into various sports where we try to legislate emotion. You get lost in a moment, and that's a big moment. Game winner of this game goes to Omaha. 
you just did a grand slam to put your team up six runs temporarily the game has been broken open I don't think it was the bat flip it was Michelangelo joined with the catcher and there is a line somewhere to cross that was the batter crossing the line sometimes you can get away with certain things and you can say you're in the moment but when you start to engage an opposing player and so and Shortino again that's the captain for Boston College he's going to take offense to it and that's going to bring the dugout out he took offense but you know Edgar Michael Michel Michelangelo with a big swing just like he did in the ACC tournament now he gets a grand slam here in the super regionals there's nothing wrong with that there's no reaction no issue I've got no issue with that I do take a issue with what he does as he's crossing home plate you're able to avoid all this stuff he celebrate with your teammates I understand yeah he might upset you we don't know why Shortinos told Mike Michelangelo but just go celebrate with your teammates go to the dugout and you avoid all this stuff and like I told you before I don't have a problem with him standing there flipping it's, the bat it is a huge it. moment yeah. in this game it's a huge moment in this series we've said it this is a kid from Miami it's a big home run had a horrible game yesterday hit into a double play struck out with the bases loaded knows that Boston College is a team that they come back he got caught in the emotion just like Jose Bautista did in Toronto he reacted to the moment we said it during the regionals we've said it I think maybe a time or two in the first couple of games in this series in sports you cannot legislate emotion that's very tough to do but there is a line and you played the game when you make it too forward and you show up your opponent Shortino did what he felt like he had to do Michelangelo thought that that was cool you know flip the bat but like I said just score the run and move on celebrate with your teammates right there see that's showing up the opponent and the other team is going to take offense. And they're going to react to it. And I, the whole thing, the whole reaction is that. Vigris reacting, yeah. reacting to what happened at the plate. And that's when it got out of control. But the game is not over. And he, the game is not over. And we saw Boston College grinding out of bats and coming back. Now we mentioned it too again there is an undercurrent of tension between these coaching staffs. You would not exactly call them collegial. And now you get a moment like this. And really you know what did it do for Miami it, 